Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're diving into the world of analog CCTV cameras and exploring the essentials of wiring them using balance. Plus we'll discuss the importance of understanding power drop over distance. So let's get started. Firstly, what is a ballon? Simply put, a ballon is a device that allows you to transmit video and sometimes power over the Cat5 and Cat6 cabling that would normally be used for network connections. This is especially handy when upgrading from older coaxial cabling systems to more modern installations without sacrificing the ability to use analog cameras. Now, onto the wiring. On one end, the ballon will typically have a BNC connector which plugs directly into your camera or DVR. On the other end, you'll find a pair of screw or push terminals for connecting your Cat5 or Cat6 cable. After threading your Cat5 or Cat6 cable to your camera location, strip back the outer sheath exposing the twisted pairs inside. Usually you'll want to use the blue and blue-white pair for video. Connect one wire to the positive and the other to the negative terminal on the ballon. At the DVR end, simply mirror these connections using another ballon and plug the BNC connector into your DVR. If you're also transmitting power through the ballon, you'll use another twisted pair such as orange and orange wire. The same principle applies. Connect one wire to the positive and the other to the negative terminal. And remember to match these connections at both ends. Now a critical point to mention here is the power drop over distance. As you increase the length of your cabling, there is a natural reduction in the power that reaches the camera. This can lead to your camera not receiving sufficient power to operate correctly. Here's how we can counteract this. Consider the camera's power needs. Know the voltage and amperage requirements of your camera. This ensures you'll provide it with the right amount of power. Limit cable distance. While Cat5 and Cat6 can transmit data efficiently over long distances, power transmission has its limits. For most analog cameras, try to limit cable runs to no more than 30 meters to ensure consistent power delivery. And for PTZ cameras, you'll want it to be much closer than that. You'll want to make sure the PSU is as close to the PTZ as possible. Use quality cable. High quality, thicker cables can reduce resistance, ensuring more power reaches your camera. In conclusion, Balans offer an efficient and modern solution for wiring analog cameras, making use of versatile Cat5 or Cat6 cables. Always be conscious of power drop over distance, ensuring your cameras are powered adequately. We hope this video clarifies the process of wiring analog cameras with Balans. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful videos from the team here at S-Pro.